morning one and all i am dr shruti subramanian my topic of presentation is association of a traumatic and sports injury with meniscal tears institute medicity institute of medical sciences hyderabad introduction mr imaging is a non invasive imaging modality routinely used to assess a wide spectrum of internal knee derangements and articular disorders and has replaced conventional arthrography in evaluation of menisci and cruciate ligament injuries the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments are intercapsular extrasynovial ligaments of knee which help to maintain stability during rotational accelerative and dislocative activities menisci play an important role in shock absorption joint stabilization and possibly proprioception the mechanism behind meniscal tears is due to knee laxity and potentially unstable knee during dynamic movements like squatting kneeling crawling driving climbing stairs lifting items and walking there have been many studies which have shown the association of acl tears with meniscal injuries however there is relatively less studies in literature regarding the mri appearance of pcl tears in this study an attempt is made to find the association of meniscal tears with a traumatic and non contact type of sports injury aims and objectives to determine the meniscal involvement in a traumatic and non contact sports injury materials and methods this is a single center retrospective study wherein patients referred with complaints of knee pain were evaluated and those with cruciate ligament injuries were included in the study a total of 50 patients were evaluated and those with acl and pcl injury were included that is a total number of 47 were included over a period of 18 months from 2018 chan to 2021 march the examination was carried out in philips 1.5 tesla whole body mri scanner with dedicated knee coil The scanning was performed with slight external rotation of the leg by 10 to 15 degrees, which makes it possible to visualize the entire course of ACL and sagittal images. Every study was reviewed for identification of meniscal tears with cruciate ligament injuries in atraumatic and non-contact type of sports injury. A statistical analysis was performed with frequency and percentage as variables. Observation: A majority of the patients in this study were males. Uh, which cons which constituted eighty two percent as compared to females that is just eighteen percent. Results: the most common mode of injury was road traffic accidents, followed by sports injury in thirteen percent and a traumatic causes in seventeen percent. Percentage of ligament involvement: ACL was the most commonly involved ligament, followed by combined ligamentous involvement, and the least involved was PCL. based on history of trauma among 30 patients with no history of trauma that is atraumatic patients lateral meniscus involvement was showed slightly higher predominance that is in 50% as compared to medial meniscus in 43.3% and normal meniscus in 16% anterior horn tear of the lateral meniscus was more common as compared to posterior horn tear In this graphical representation, we can see that in atraumatic cases, lateral meniscus was more predominantly involved as compared to medial meniscus and normal meniscus. Among seventeen patients with history of non-contact sports injury, lateral meniscus showed predominant involvement in fifty-two point nine percent as compared to medial meniscus in forty-seven percent, and normal meniscus was seen in just two patients, that is, eleven point seven percent. Anterior horn tear of medial meniscus, lateral meniscus, was more common in eight patients, that is, in eighty-eight point eight percent, as compared to posterior horn. In this graphical representation, we can see that in non-contact type of sports injury, lateral meniscus was seen to be more predominantly involved as compared to medial meniscus and normal meniscus. These are the images which depict the association of tear of posterior horn of medial meniscus, and this image depicts the uh, tear of anterior horn of lateral meniscus. Discussion. The purpose of the study was to find the association of meniscal tears 
with atraumatic and non-contact type of sports injury. A statistical analysis was done to exhibit the association of the tear with the above. Our study shows the predominant meniscal involvement in patients with atraumatic and those with non-contact type of injury, which revealed that anterior horn of lateral meniscus was predominantly involved in the above etiologies. This finding was seen to be similar to high risk of lateral meniscus tear during contact injury explained by high forces applied to the knee joint. Conclusion, patients with no history of trauma, that is atraumatic patients, and those with sports injury, non-contact type, showed predominant lateral meniscus involvement. These are my references. Thank you.